Have you ever felt let down by your friends when you needed them the most? Once upon a time, nestled in the heart of a verdant forest, lived a delightful white bunny rabbit. This charming little creature was blessed with an abundance of friends from all walks of forest life. Each day was filled with frolic and laughter, shared stories, and countless adventures. The bunny was immensely proud of these friendships, cherishing them like a precious treasure. He had an unwavering belief that no matter what troubles he might face, his friends would always stand by his side. He reciprocated their friendship by being kind-hearted and helpful, always ready to lend a paw when anyone needed assistance. He lived a joyful life, basking in the warmth of camaraderie. But as we all know, life is full of surprises, and sometimes, it throws a curveball that changes everything. Imagine you're in a forest and suddenly you hear the sound of wild dogs, what would you do? This was the very dilemma our little rabbit friend found himself in. His heart pounded like a drum, his fur bristled in fear. He thought of his friends, the ones he counted on, the ones he believed would always be there for him. With great haste he dashed towards his friend the deer pleading for aid. But alas the deer with his majestic antlers was too preoccupied. Disheartened but not defeated, the rabbit sought the help of the bear, his sturdy companion. Yet, the bear too had reasons to decline. One by one, his friends, from the high-spirited monkey to the robust elephant, all found excuses to turn him away. His heart sank with each refusal. Here he was, in the face of danger, and his friends were nowhere to be found. But when he needed them most, none of his friends were there to help. Sometimes, when all doors close, we need to find our own way out. As the rabbit stood alone in the forest he felt a profound sense of solitude. His heart was heavy with disappointment, yet he also felt a spark of something new, a flicker of self-reliance. He realized that he could not wait for his friends to come to his rescue. He had to act, and he had to act fast. Drawing upon his innate rabbit wisdom, he devised a clever plan. He recalled the lush, leafy bushes in the forest where he used to play hide-and-seek with his friends. These bushes were thick enough to conceal him, yet allowed him to keep a watchful eye on his surroundings. So, he darted towards the nearest bush, his heart pounding in his chest. He nestled himself deep within the foliage, laying completely still, blending into the undergrowth like a snowflake in a blizzard. And just like that, the rabbit was able to save his own life. Remember how we started with a question about feeling let down by friends? Well, this is exactly what our little bunny went through. He had always been there for his buddies, believing that the bond they shared was unbreakable. But when the tables turned and he needed them, they were nowhere to be found. The rabbit's story is a tale as old as time, a timeless lesson about friendship and self-reliance. He was a good friend, always ready to lend a helping hand or a comforting ear. His friends were his world, and he felt safe, secure in the knowledge that they would always be there for him. But when danger loomed, and he needed their help, his friends were too busy, too tired, or too preoccupied with their own problems to lend him a hand. This left the rabbit feeling incredibly disappointed and alone, but it also sparked something within him, a realization that he had to fend for himself. This was a turning point in our bunny's life, a moment that led him to understand the undeniable power of self-reliance. Our bunny didn't give up. He didn't let his disappointment cloud his judgment. He took matters into his own hands, using his wit and instincts to save himself from the wild dogs. He didn't need big antlers or brute strength. All he needed was his courage and his cleverness. The tale of our little rabbit teaches us that when we face challenges, it's essential to believe in ourselves. Yes, friends are important, and they can often provide support and aid. But there will be times when we are alone, times when we must rely on our own strength and wit. These are the moments that truly test us the moments that shape us. In the end, it's always better to rely on yourself, because sometimes your friends might not be there for you. During those times, you have to find the solution to your problems on your own. So, remember the story of the rabbit and let it inspire you to be brave, self-reliant, and always ready to face the challenges that life throws at you.